हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल कॉन्साइज कॉन्सेप्ट एंड टुडे इज आवर टॉपिक इज बेसिक ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड इन दिस विल डिस्कस टॉपिक्स आर टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज न्यूक्लिक एसिड व्हाट इज न्यूक्लियोटाइड व्हाट इज न्यूक्लियोसाइड इन दिस न्यूक्लियोटाइड एंड न्यूक्लियोसाइड वी विल डिस्कस फॉस्फेट नाइट्रोजन बेस एंड पेंटोस शुगर सो फर्स्ट कमिंग टू न्यूक्लिक एसिड व्हाट इज न्यूक्लिक एसिड न्यूक्लिक एसिड इज अ मटेरियल प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द लिविंग सेल it is basically a polymer of nucleotide it is made up of different nucleotide basically nucleotide it is made up of nucleotide <coughs> and this nucleotide one nucleotide act as a monomer of nucleic acid so nucleic acid is of two type, uh, two forms in, present in the two forms that is dna and rna dna full form is deoxyribonucleic acid and rna is ribonucleic acid first question comes in mind that why it is named deoxy deoxy name is written due to removal of oxygen in one molecules here that we'll discuss later on so coming to nucleotide <coughs> what is nucleotide nucleotide is formed by the combination of when mm, nitrogen base sugar and phosphate are combinedly formed here you can see here in the dna and dna phosphate sugar and nitrogen base are formed then this is called as nucleotide and what is nucleoside when only nitrogen base you can see here nitrogen base sugar and phosphate but here only bases and sugar is there but phosphate is not there when phosphate is not there then it is called as nucleoside this is called nucleoside and this is called nucleotide you can see in the dna dna structure form this is basically step ladder model of dna i have written main structure of dna or this is called this is coil structure present in when it is present in the nucleus it is in the coil structure when but here this model is called step ladder model of dna so here you can see phosphate sugar and nitrogen base when phosphate sugar and nitrogen base are attached with each other then it is called as a nucleotide but when only sugar and nu nitrogen base is there then it is called nucleoside so we will see the structure as we have written i will see the structure of pentose sugar nitrogen base and phosphate how all these three structure are combinedly attached here and what are the arrangement of all three structures that we will see one by one here in pentose sugar first we will see the pentose sugar as i have written here first i will discuss pentose sugar so coming to the structure of pentose sugar pentose sugar in pentose sugar dna have different structure and rna have different structure but both have are present only five carbon because it is written pentose pentose pent pentane means here pent means only five so five carbon atom five carbon chain is there a ring like structure is present <coughs> a ring like structure is present here <coughs> you can see so in all both the structure the main difference you can see the main difference main difference is present in second number carbon atom second number carbon atom main difference is there what is the main difference here in second number carbon atom oh is not present only h is present here but in ribose oh is present this is only the main difference in deoxy and in ribose why there is a difference due to which due to the removal due to the removal due to the removal of oxygen in second carbon in second carbon in second carbon due to the removal of oxygen in the second carbon it is named as deoxyribose and it is a stable it is a it's stable and it is not very reactive it is not very reactive this is the main criteria basically first criteria is due to the removal of oxygen it is stable it is not very reactive so dna is stable form but coming to the ribose in ribose due to the presence of this oxygen this is unstable reactive okay this is unstable and very reactive pentose sugar you have seen pentose sugar <coughs> so this structure this pentose sugar is present here this pentose sugar is present here in which this fifth carbon atom this fifth carbon atom is attached to the phosphate it attached to the phosphate so this fifth carbon atom is attached to the phosphate this is 5n to 3n but as we will go to this structure here it is 3n to 5n it means when this 
sugar it attached here it is not likely attached like this it is inverted when it is inverted this five carbon atom is attached it will be inverted like this so five carbon atom will attach with the pentose sugar here so next next we'll see nitrogenous base. so next coming to nitrogenous bases in nitrogenous bases two forms is there purine and pyrimidine purine purine has two forms that is adenine and guanine pyrimidine forms by three that is cytosine uracil and thymine so we will see the structure here ki how the structure is formed in the dna how these structure are basically placed in the dna so in purine two ring is there this is basically nine mem membrane ring nine ring structure so this is bicyclic this is called bicyclic here we will go this you can see here this is clockwise in clockwise direction and this is anti clockwise direction so this is called bicyclic this purine structure is present both in adenine and guanine and you don't have to remember all these structures it is very difficult to remember all these structure i will go in very simple form i will explain you later on so this i have explained the how you have to remember it so here you have i just have shown ki where the nitrogen is present and purine is called what is what is called purine and when adenine and guanine combinedly called as purine and pyrimidine cytosine thymine and uracil combinedly called as pyrimidine so i will i have just explained here ki where is the nitrogen present and how the numbering will do here so here from starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here 7 8 9 so this will go as clockwise direction and this is anti clockwise direction and this this also will go as you can see here in anti clockwise direction so here it is anti clockwise direction this is anti clockwise direction okay this anti clockwise direction so <clears throat> now this is monocyclic and this is bicyclic here we'll see 4n what is 4n this is 4n means four nitrogen is present where it is present in number 1 3 7 9 it means 1 3 7 and 9 number here 1 3 7 and 9 number nitrogen is present it means here nitrogen is present here nitrogen is present here nitrogen is present and here nitrogen that's it and other than that all their carbon is present all their carbon is present carbon is present carbon is present everywhere carbon is present only in 1 3 7 9 just to just you have to remember this four carbon it means four carbon is present and where it is present 1 3 7 9 that's it and all are you can see all are prime number 1 3 7 9 all are prime number so it is very easy to remember that four carbon is present in purine 1 3 7 9 that's it so next is pyrimidine pyrimidine only two carbon is present and where it is present 1 3 here 1 3 7 9 and here 1 3 only two two places nitrogen is present so only two places that is 1 3 here nitrogen is present and here and all in other carbon is present so it is very easy to remember ki where nitrogen is present and where carbon is present so just you have to remember where <coughs> it's very simple form and i will explain you after this that how the structure is formed of adenine guanine cytosine thymine and uracil so all five structures i will explain you here so this is the basic form and how it is um, uh, arranged in the dna this you can see now only <coughs> this uh, purine purine that is adenine and guanine adenine and guanine so this purine totally attached with here and guanine also like this like this structure so here what you have to remember here you have to remember that pentose sugar carbon 1 pentose sugar pentose sugar's carbon 1 carbon 1 is attached with here pentose sugar carbon 1 is attached with purine nitrogen n9 so n9 n9 means nitrogen 9 point 9th nitrogen Here ninth nitrogen is attached with the carbon one, so carbon one sugars of sugar molecules carbon one is attached with the nitrogen nine, 
and here you can see means nitrogen nine of both adenine and guanine and nitrogen one nitrogen one this n one n one nitrogen point one this is attached with the this pyrimidine and carbon one sugar ka carbon one is attached now with we will discuss how the purine and pyrimidine are attached or they are arranged in dna structure this step ladder model of the dna how it is arranged purine and pyrimidine how it is arranged so so in this very simple way we will see that purine as i have discussed here purine both adenine and guanine of both the structure are similar like this purine structure in purine adenine structure is like this only and guanine also like this only both the structure are same both are bicyclic both are bicyclic and both at the four nitrogen is present in the position one three seven nine in both the structure four nitrogen is present and where it is present one three seven nine that's it in both the form and here also cytosine uracil and thymine all three structures are like this only but and two nitrogen is present at this position one and three so all three have the same structure like this so i have made only one structure to explain you how we can just identify by seeing the structure that which is purine and which is pyrimidine pyrimidine has is monocyclic and purine is bicyclic so coming to the structure how they are arranged in dna so as i have said as i have said that <coughs> this purine what is purine and pyrimidine purine is a t a g this a and g combinedly called as purine this a g is combinedly called as purine and this t c that is thymine and uracil combinedly called as pyrimidine okay this a g a and g a and g is called purine and t and c is called as pyrimidine i have written just pyrimidine <coughs> this is called purine and this is called pyrimidine so how it is arranged i will see i will just explain you here <coughs> the sugar molecule carbon position 1 carbon position 1 is attached with the position 9th position of the nitrogenous base of purine nitrogenous 9th position of purine 9th position is purine ninth position of purine that is adenine both are called purine only adenine and guanine both are called purine only so i am saying that ninth position of purine that is adenine adenine ninth position of adenine at attached with the sugar molecule that is first position first position of sugar molecule attached with the ninth position of adenine and here also ninth position of guanine attached with the sugar molecule first position of sugar molecule and coming to here here also sugar molecule first position of sugar molecule first position of sugar molecule is attached with the and first position of the nitrogen here also first position of the carbon is attached with the na first position of the pyrimidine that is cytosine so here first position in pyrimidine first position of the nitrogen is attached with the first position of the sugar here in purine that is adenine and guanine first position of the sugar molecule is attached with the ninth position of the nitrogen base that's this here only you have to remember the position in which position they are attached if you will remember the position it is very easy to draw the structure of the dna in a molecular form so i am just explaining you how where the ad, ad, attachment is there where the position of the attachment is there of different molecules of nitrogenous base pentose sugar and phosphate so here till here i have discussed pentose sugar nitrogenous base and now i will discuss phosphate but first of all i will discuss all the structure of adenine guanine cytosine thymine and uracil and after that i will discuss phosphate the last topic of now, our why we will discuss now we will discuss the structure of nitrogen space all the detailed structure of guanine adenine cytosine thymine and uracil all the detailed structure we will see here and how it is attached that also we will see here so first coming to purine in purine
purine as we have discussed earlier that in purine guanine and adenine is there you can see here here also we have seen that e adenine always combine with thymine guanine always combine with cytosine but in when that dna forms rna then in place of thymine in place of thymine uracil is formed uracil is formed and due to this uracil only this unstable nature is there in the rna that is present in virus due to this unstability only uh, it changes its structure always and becomes new and always the, the structure changes due to this presence of uracil and earlier also we have discussed due to the presence of reactive oh oh group in the second carbon atom of sugar that is pentose sugar so uh, in place of thymine uracil is present in rna but here we we are discussing dna so i will just drop it so coming to the structure in purine purine as i have told you purine is bicyclic and in the four four nitrogen is present in the fourth position that is in four position that is 1 3 7 and 9 so you can see one in one position nitrogen is present three position nitrogen is present seven position nitrogen is present and ninth position also nitrogen is present here also you can see in first position third position seventh position and ninth position nitrogen is present and what is the difference you don't have to remember everything i will just tell you what you have to remember and it is very easy to remember so first you have to remember it is bicyclic so it is bicyclic adenine and guanine next where the nitrogen is present that you have to remember next you don't have to remember this where the double bond is present because as you have studied in chemistry that to complete its valency oxygen should be two double bonded carbon should have four bond and nitrogen should have three bond so as you have studied in chemistry that only you will use here when you will draw the structure you have just have to see whether the valency of all the atom is fulfilled or not because in nitrogen three bond should be there so 1 2 3 so here it is so that's why here double bond is present here you can see carbon ha should have four bond 1 2 3 4 so there due to to complete its valency here it is double bond so when you will see this structure only you will just understand where the double bond bond should be present where the double bond should be present and where single bond should be present so by seeing the valency only you can see just put the bond that is where double bond and single bond should be present so now what you have to remember first you have to remember where nitrogen should be present that is 1379 next you have to remember this three things first in head position double bond o is present and here single bond nh2 here nh2 is present and here o is present in guanine you can see remember you can remember by this gua ni gua a but a double bond o is present double bond o should be present in guanine guanine by just a trick simple trick that guanine o is present that is double bond o is present and here adenine 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 amine group a a for adenine a for amine group amine group amine group so amine nh2 nh2 should be present in the head that's it here only you have, you have to remember this one and this one next all other thing are same only next thing are different that is nh here n is present and here nh is present and here nh2 in the second carbon that is second position and here ch is present and here in second position of the carbon nh2 is present that's it here only three things you have to remember this one 1 1 2 and 6 here also 1 2 and 6 and all other things are similar so just you have to remember these all three things in position 1 2 and 6 and you have to remember and four car four nitrogen is present in 1 3 7 and 9 that's over you can just remember the purine and next thing i have told you that in ninth position of the nitrogen ninth position of the nitrogen is attached is attached with the first carbon of first carbon of sugar molecule that is pentose sugar pentose sugar which i have discussed earlier pentose sugar this ninth position of the guanine or ninth position of the adenine both are attached c1 of c1 of what pentose sugar 
pentose sugar here also c1 of pentose sugar means first position of the carbon of pentose sugar is attached with the ninth position of the nitrogen here also first position of the carbon is attached with the ninth position of the adenine or we can say both are in the purine form you can say you can say purine also so next coming to pyrimidine in pyrimidine structure what you have to remember here just you have to remember that in two nitrogen is present in position 1 and 3 so here you can see position 1 and 3 nitrogen is present position 1 and 3 nitrogen is present position 1 and 3 nitrogen is present that's it now you don't have to see the double bond where double bond is present you don't have to see or you have to only complete the valency of all the atom if carbon is present then four bonds should be present if oxygen is present double bond should be present so you just have to remember the position of nitrogen where nitrogen is present next what you have to remember here you have to remember amine group the head position amine group here amine group is present here double bond o double bond o double bond o you only have to remember this one and here double bond o here also double bond o it is similar then it is similar that only you have to head position the head position only you have to remember this head position you have to remember that's it and all other thing are basically similar not exact similar but here you can see mm, and thymine methyl group is present in the fifth ka, fifth position methyl group methyl group cs3 is present in the fifth position and all other things are similar so it is very easy to remember you are just have to remember that pyrimidine is monocyclic that is six membered ring is present six membered that is six carbon is present <coughs> this uh, hexagon hexagonal structures is there and in in cytosine thymine and uracil and where the nitrogen is present nitrogen is present in two nitrogen is present nitrogen two two nitrogen is present in position one and three that's it this only you have to remember and what is the position what is the attachment that is pyrimidine <coughs> nitrogen one nitrogen in all cytosine thymine and uracil nitrogen one is attached with the carbon one of sugar pentose sugar here also nitrogen one is attached with the carbon one of pentose sugar here also nitrogen one is attached with the carbon one of pentose sugar so it is very easy to understand where is attachment in dna where it is attached here also where the dna is attached you can see in which position it is attached in purine when purine is attached with in arrangement is when purine arrangement is there in the dna the ninth position is attached with the first position of the carbon of pentose sugar and where when pyrimidine is attached arranged in the dna then position one of the pyrimidine is attached with the position one of the sugar that's it